I'm Daniel Donnelly. I was born in the UK in a place called Burton. The influence of Africa on my work is confusing. I lived in Morocco for four and a half years, but during that time I didn't meet a Moroccan who would identify themselves as African. Daily life has much in common with other countries in North Africa, such as Tunisia or Egypt, whilst also having French brands selling food to collecting rubbish. However, my view of Africa is very much a Moroccan view, and it's from this perspective that my work was heavily influenced. Many Moroccans will constantly be questioning the reasons behind politics, and this desire to question inform my photographs. My series Waiting for Spring struggles to give any answers as to why the Arab Spring didn't arrive, but does provide space to question why Morocco never had a revolution similar to those found in the other countries in North Africa. Most of the photos are from when I was out walking. I would walk for hours through my home city of Rabat and Casablanca. I'm not a full-time photographer. I spend much of my time organising arts programmes or writing reports, and this work would often take me to more remote parts of the country. One recent programme was linked to photo books in Morocco. The year-long programme worked towards a three-day workshop that gave Moroccan photographers the skills and tools required to make and share stories and ideas using the book form. Editing, sequencing and hand-binding were discussed and taught, along with connecting with the photo book world. As well as the workshop for photographers, workshops introducing people to photo books were held across the country. Not for tens of thousands of people, but for a few hundred, who would then maybe be interested in seeing the photo books made by Moroccan photographers. It's a young programme, but certainly going in the right direction. It was always on my mind to travel down through Morocco along the west coast of Africa, and in turn, maybe get to Lagos. It's a city I've wanted to visit for some time. Friends or colleagues have worked there, and having lived in cities like Cairo and Delhi, I realise I really like big cities. Currently, however, I'm obsessed with a much, much smaller city, Manama in Bahrain. It's tiny, but for the next few years will be my home. I spend my days googling for information on the city and trying to find out as much as I can. Currently, the list is very, very small. It's been hot, but I'm already enjoying walking around and taking photos. I'm also obsessed with getting a visa for Nigeria. It might be difficult from where I live now. I also spend a lot of time looking at children's books. This is one I'm currently encouraging others to look at. I find that children's books take a lot more risks than photo books, both in design terms and in terms of content. This is on my mind as I'm working on my new book. Each day I'm looking at the images and working out how best to sequence them, along with designing the book. The theme for Lagos Photo is designing futures. And for me, the future looks a lot better than now. I know that the photo books that will be made by Moroccan photographers in the next year or so will add to the big pile that are there already. But hopefully they will stand out, as they'll be offering something different to the rest of the pack. I am biased, but it won't just be different, it will be better.